Near Bamford Town, in a county down, one morning last July, down a boring rim came a sweet Colleen, and she smiled as she passed me by. She looked so sweet from her two white feet to the sheen of her brown hair. Such a coaxing elf, I had to shake myself to make sure I was standing there. From Bantry Bay up to Derry Cay, and from Galway to Dublin Town. No maid I've seen like a sweet Colleen that I met in the county down. As she onwards sped, I shook my head and I gazed with a feeling rare. And I say, says I to the passerby, who's the maid with the nut brown hair? Welcome to From a Distance Chat, Honolulu Quartet, but not quite a quartet yet today. Hi. Hi. Hello. Uh, how are you? Nice to meet you. It's so nice to meet you. I think this is probably the most interesting in terms of chat already, in terms of locations. Can we just go around the screen and introduce ourselves and tell us where you are? Well, I'm the only one in Padova, which is our, our, our town, our city. And Padova is in the I, north? He's in the northeast of Italy. Yeah. Is, uh, the, 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 the phrase that we always say is, is close to Venice. So everyone yeah. can understand. It's a busy part of Italy, but very historic yeah. and quite a wealthy part of Italy as well. Yeah, it is. Yeah. 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 I'm in the place of, of Padua where I spent uh, uh, most of my time. That is my car. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> and it's very nice. It looks very green outside and sunny. Yeah. yeah. Who's next? Hi, Stephen. I am in Vienna, and um, because now we are spread all around the world, because <laughs> uh, now we can uh, since a few days. So we are uh, traveling to see people, to to meet friends. And uh, yes, now I am in Vienna for one week, and I am very happy to to be here and to know you. Uh, yeah. Yes. We were just saying Vienna is a fantastic city, isn't yes, it? Yes. Yes. I and. Know. And, and sure. full of music, and full of music mm -hmm. tradition, great concert halls, great concert yes, yes. publics as well. Yes, I, I am going to manage to listen to some uh, concert at the Opera uh, Theatre that is amazing uh, nice. here in Vienna. Yes, so nice. have to... Pietro, you are the top tenor in the quartet. No, I'm the second one. Second tenor. Yes. It's me. Your second, second tenor. Ah, oh, here he comes. To, and, and first, Tommaso, who, who is yeah. Yeah. first. What is your voice? First, the first Tommaso, Piron. I'm the bass one. Bass one. Yeah. So we have the person who is not here yet is is the bass two. The baritone. No, the the baritone or maybe ba 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 bass one. Bass. Tommaso is the deepest voice. You're the bass two. Yes. Yeah. Oh, I am. Yeah. Um, Tommaso Antonio. Yes. Tell us about you. <laughs> I'm the second Tomas of the court, that, and right now I'm in, in Brindisi, which is uh, in Puglia, southern Italy, because uh, I'm a passionate sailor, and uh, I'm involved in a regatta. Uh, we are going to Corfu in Greece tomorrow. Wow. Uh, during the day and the night. And uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm the top, the, the highest voice <laughs> yeah. in the court, at tenor one. Now I don't, uh, now my voice is getting really better, because last week, uh, I completely uh, my my voice ran ran out. I, I had no voice because I was in the pool for some days doing experiments, and yeah. I completely lost my voice. Yeah, but you <laughs> so, have a, you have an angelic high tenor voice, and it's quite extraordinary your voice. And our listeners will have heard some of your singing. It is incredibly high, and I just wanted to ask this one question before we get going. And when you're singing high up, are you singing in your full voice, in your full belt voice all the time, or do you mix your voice? Because it's very hard for me as a singer and for me as a singing teacher to actually tell the difference. You just have a voice that seems to go up and up and up, right to the stratosphere. <laughs> oh, thank you. I, I'm not in the position of, uh, of getting some compliments like this from you, but <laughs> I really appreciate them. And I, it's kind of a mixed voice, mm. uh, and I, I try so much to emulate a, a head voice, a 
falsetto in Italian. Sì. But uh, you to, to to be present in the quartet, you always have to uh, to have your uh, a, a percentage of your full voice in it. Yeah. And it's well, you, this is the you the mix balance it you have to so find. well. Yeah. You, you mix it so well, and it, it's so strong and reliable. Well done, um, Tommaso Piron. Tell tell us about tell us about the missing member at the moment who's somewhere lost in the streets. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> no. I hope he's not lost. <laughs> By the way, he is finding himself uh, uh, in, uh, in in a lot of pizzas and uh, in, because, in Napoli, the home yeah, of so, well, some would say the home of pizza. <laughs> yeah, but, well, it is actually. So he's yeah. in Napoli for a few days uh, for a few holidays since uh, we we can move uh, uh, from a few oh. days. Yeah. And uh, so uh, he, I, I, I guess he could not uh, connect with us. But yeah. he's the baritone, so he's one of the central voices. And uh, so if if I'm on the one of the extreme, one of the poles, I, I'd say, yeah, uh, he's uh, he's always um, completing the, the 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 quartet sound. So yeah. uh, without him and without the, the the voices on the on the in the middle. Uh, exactly. We cannot do anything because uh, they have the the aim. Yeah, yeah. They, they are play. they are the egg in the pasta. Yeah, <laughs> they make the pasta very good. Yeah, it's true. It's true. It's and true. Also, I they, they also change uh, their their very very voice uh, in order to um, achieve uh, achieve a particular sound of the song. Yeah. So if uh, I'm quite always do the same voice because it's my voice is the bass one, uh, yeah. and also maybe Tommaso the first tenor, the counter tenor, uh, sings uh, in the not always, eh, but almost, in, with his full voice. Uh, the two voices in the in the middle has to they have to change always and to yeah. uh, fit uh, in the in the particular sound of the song. And exactly, I, cannot, yeah. uh, I cannot imagine totally the, 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 the feeling and the, yeah, the feeling I can, I'm that. so glad to hear you say this. It is music to my ears because many years when, when I was uh, singing in ensembles, the, the, the person who is on top of the bass or in the middle sometimes is almost sitting on the, on, well, well sitting on my sound like a glove. It's like follow my sound. Yeah. Just fit like a glove on the on the on my on my sound, mm -hmm. and um, then it works. And um, a lot of people don't, a lot of groups don't really get that until they try it, and then they go, "Oh yeah, suddenly the sound works, the chords work." We and what's amazing about your sound, and we'll go back to how you got together in a minute. But what I love about your sound is there are only four voices. But you create a sound that sounds more than four. And, and I know that's because your sound works well together. And I know that people used to say to us in the King Singers, you know, that how can you do just a, you know, a whole a cappella show without microphones in a concert hall for two hours? Don't the people get bored of just the sound of these voices and like, And I say no because it's it's what you do with them, and it's 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 how you blend and how you create a bigger sound than just the six voices. They don't battle; they work together to create a different thing. And you do guys manage that so beautifully with your um, with with your sound. It's very very difficult for our viewers watching to sing from four voices. It's much easier to have a group of eight voices or six voices. A lot of groups of six voices around. There's quite a lot of groups of eight voices. There's not many good groups of just four voices because it's really difficult. <laughs> There's Thank nowhere you. to hide. There's nowhere to hide at all. Yeah. Pietro, tell, mm -hmm. us, tell us how you got together. How did you meet and when did you meet? Uh, we meet each other when we were young because we live in the same city and we uh, always studied some instruments. I played piano and uh, French horn 
at the conservatory where I meet the other the other three, and uh, we meet inside uh, um, an orchestra at, at the beginning. So yeah. we were friends together uh, in this instrumental experience. After a few years, uh, we meet each other again inside a traditional choir in Padova uh, called uh, Coro Trepini, uh, who sing uh, traditional uh, songs of uh, Al um, Alpini, Alpini songs that are uh, like uh, old military uh, songs. And uh, uh, we like to sing there, but we were the youngest one because the average uh, age of the choir were like uh, from 60 to 80. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we made uh, uh, our strong uh, spin off because yeah. of this, but uh, was uh, immediately was uh, uh, very funny. And we found ourselves to to have a, a lot of a lot of fun with uh, with uh, simple uh, four voices uh, songs, and we start to uh, sing uh, everywhere because uh, people liked a lot this um, this sound because in Italy we, it's not uh, so common to listen no. a cappella music. Yeah, no. and we are the we are very lucky because our baritone that is not here now. Uh, is also our uh, composer, our trusted uh, arranger, and we had the opportunity to sing uh, also original songs. Uh, that that um, I don't know. It, it's very funny, and uh, we we are very proud of uh, of uh, some of our works. And yeah, we sing together just for fun, but also for the this passion of. Uh, yeah, uh, cappella music, yes. Sir. Yeah, Tom Tommaso Antonio, um, I, I was, um, I was listening to your sound, and, and I was trying to think of this word barbershop, um, and our listeners will be very aware of barbershop, barbershop quartets, barbershop choruses, and the whole kind of tradition of barbershop coming from America. And it's in Europe, and we in you here in England we have barbershop associations, and it's very. Um, my when I listen to you guys, I don't think of barbershop, and that's not um, an insult at all. I um, I'm thinking more when I hear you as as having a kind of a folk, very strong folk background to some of your arrangements. Some are, are completely different and a lot more fun, and I'll talk about that in a minute. But tell, tell us a little bit about your, uh, Tommaso Antonio, about your, about your influences. You know, is it, is it a passion of yours, of this folk music? And tell us a little uh, bit. Yeah. Uh, okay, we started from Barbershop because it was so easy. That was the, the, the first uh, uh, score we, we saw was a Barbershop one. And we found ourselves in front of this core and we sang. And it was really funny for us to be uh, our, to, me, to uh, mix our four voices. And that, that's where we started because for, uh, we found some of these songs quite easy, quite funny. Quite, uh, it was summer, so we enjoyed uh, singing uh, outside in the fields, uh, in the squares. And it was really funny. And we appreciated so much this, uh, this feeling of uh, being uh, uh, so light uh, about barbershop music. Uh, but we cannot flee our backgrounds. We come from Italy. In Italy, uh, choral, vo choral music has a strong traditional uh, accent. And then in Italy, we have this opera tradition and this uh, lyr lyrical uh, uh, style tradition. And so I think uh, we, we evolved in, uh, in our style uh, with these two concepts in our mind. So with a strong interest in about popul um, popular music, about, uh, traditional music. But with, uh, I hope that we, we can uh, make people uh, understand that we, can, we will also like to uh, sing like other uh, quartets in Italy, like for example, uh, Quartetto Cetra, which was uh, really an old style quartet. But with some accent of popular music and of uh, opera, of bel canto. Yeah. Well, I'm glad you. I'm glad you said that because when I when I, I was listening to one of your songs, 
Persona Un Pollo, <laughs> which is fantastic. And I love the video. And I love it when you slide up the banister. That was so cool. Sono giro dentro al letto tutto il giorno mi rigiro per cercare le tue braccia sono piovere vado a caccia poi ti afferro come un falco e non ti lascio respirare sono un gatto e vado matto per la tua sensualità Sono un cane, poi sto male, se con me non vuoi restare Come un pesce resto muto se ricevo un tuo rifiuto Sono un lupo e col mio fiuto ti verrò sempre a cercare Sono un'anguilla senza scossa, sei tu l'elettricità Sei tu l'elettricità, elettricità Senza di te solo volo, spacco le ali però non decollo Sono un pesce palla, che non ho paura, mi gonfio e torno a galla, prendo paura, mi gonfio e torno a galla. Du 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 dum 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 Sono rane, tu sei stagno, senza te non mi raguaglio Come un riccio senza spine, un cavallo senza crine Con memoria d'elefante non dimentico di niente Mi ricordo di ogni istante che ho passato insieme a te Son salmone con passione, la corrente salgo su Per trovarti ed abbracciarti come un pan del suo bambù Per un bacio lungo il collo la giraffa potrei far Ma la testa dal mio cuore così lontana non può star Così lontana non può star, così lontana non può star Senza di te sono un ballo, spotto le ali però non decollo Senza di te sono un pesce palla Ho paura, torno a galla Prendo paura, mi gonfio e torno a galla Ma di tutte queste bestie Soltanto una te ne posso dar Sono un uomo e col pensiero Tu m'hai fatto innamorar Se ti vedo non capisco Come quando chi è perché, ma non mi importa nient'altro che restare insieme a te. Senza di te sono un ballo, spotto le ali, però non del collo. Sono un pesce, palla, prendo paura, torno alla galla, prendo paura. Senza di te sono un pollo, sono un pollo, ali, però non decollo. Senza di te sono un pesce, palla, prendo paura, torno alla galla, prendo paura, mi gonfio e torno a galla. Du 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 dum 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 Very funny. And it reminded me, and uh, don't take this the wrong way, but it reminded me of a German group from the from the twenties and thirties called the mm. Comedian Harmonists. Yeah, well, and um, and that idea of not taking of almost singing instrumentally, that mm. you create music as a as musicians, not just as singers, yeah. but it's a great arrangement. And then sometimes you're singing arrangements which are just homophonic and very hard-hitting folk style. And, and I love this, and I can imagine that's very powerful in concert. Um, do you get to do many concerts where you're singing a whole program? How, how does that work? Antonio? Uh, yeah, we, oh, have, yeah, we, yeah, have yeah. Been, we had years in which we sang uh, some uh, 54, uh, 60 concerts. Wow. And then obviously, in the last years, it was really uh, much more difficult. And, sure. But we, we also understood that not all the concerts are, 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 I mean, are for us. We don't like to sing with microphones. We don't like mm. to 
to have a um, situation in which the music is not the center of this, the, the, the evening of the event. And so we also tried to find something suitable for our voices, for our style, some good locations, some good uh, uh, sound of, uh, for example, a church, a cappella, or uh, uh, some, some natural places also. Uh, a, a hole, a, a cave is also good for us. And yeah. so we, we also evolved in our choices because uh, we, we had to define also the, the places in which we, we can sing and which we can express ourselves uh, the best. Yeah. And what, so, a, what a great philosophy. Yeah. No, no, we, I think we, we were so young when we started and then we are now growing. We are uh, asking ourselves so many questions, but we are trying to find some uh, sincere answers to them. And uh, I think it's really useful uh, for everything in life, but as a group uh, mainly. And so we've been really sincere. Uh, we thought so many years about being the, as the king singers, but then we said, no, we, we are like, uh, Hon we are Honolulu quartet. We have to yeah. be ourselves. We have to enjoy. So when we, we do some shots for the videos, we just have fun. And that's the most important thing for us because when we when we look at our videos or we listen to our music, it's it makes us laugh. We, we yeah. say, oh my God, what did we do? We, did we really do these things? The, we are having so much fun. Yeah. Pietro, you, you have, um, the, your, your missing member who's not here does, is, is your, your arranger. Yeah. Is arranging. I, any, any other of you doing arrangements or songwriting? We, yeah, we help, uh, we help Francesco uh, sometimes uh, with some songs, but Francesco did the most, uh, uh, the most of the work. The text of our original songs, like Sono un Polo, it's our original songs in the text and in the, in the music. The text is, uh, was written by Tommaso Pirona. Uh, yes, it's, uh, and also uh, the other text of the other original songs that we, we sang and we are going to uh, increase, uh, we are going to compose. To another. release, yeah. Yeah. to release yeah. and to compose yeah. and to sing. Yeah, usually Tommaso Piron write the text down. Uh, Francesco write the uh, music and the harmonization and we had to uh, modify some uh, parts of the song or yeah we suggest some uh, um, some utilization for the voice and yeah we complete the the work yeah I, it's it's real it's real music to my ears to hear that that the original songs and, and creating your own own music your own lyrics yeah. Not just your own arrangements, but doing this, it gives your gives you guys a kind of unique selling point. And I love a cappella groups who are writing their own arrangements. You know, you go to a, a group like the Real Group, and yes, everybody knows this arrangement of Chili Con Carne, this Chili Con Carne song. It became world famous in the a cappella world, um, but it was written by them. You know, it's the, it's their song, and mm. and I think it's really powerful. And I think. Um, if I had any regrets in the King Singers, is that we didn't really have any of our own original music. We were always good at choosing really nice songs and songs that other people had not quite made famous and then making them a little bit more famous, certainly in the a cappella world. But um, I think presenting your own original music is fantastic. Tom Tommaso Piron, um, tell, me, tell me a little bit. You're the, the, the wordsmith. Of Sono and Polo. Tell, tell, I mean, my Italian is terrible, you know. No. Uh, so apologies, but I, I think it means I am a chicken. <laughs> yeah, you're right. <laughs> tell us about what it means. So it's good. It, I love I love writing extra lyrics with um, jokes, you know. Um, so son, the the compl the completing is uh, senza di te. So without you. Sono un pollo, I'm a chicken. I'm a chicken. <laughs> uh, I batto le ali. I, I, I don't know the, the translation now. So I, I move the wings uh, like oh, a bird. Yes. Okay? Yeah. I flap I, my wings. Flap. Yeah, I flap my wings. But I, I am not... Uh, uh, so uh, How do you say? The collo. Uh, take off. Take off. I don't take off. Yeah, I don't take okay. off. Like I flap pollo. my wings, okay. but I don't take off if I'm without you. Okay. Because 
obviously in Italian it rhymes. So non pollo senza di te non decollo. Yeah. And so it sounds good. And uh, then he says, uh, uh, without you I'm a bold fish. Uh, I, I, I got scared. And, and I inflate I, myself. <laughs> and I inflate up. So. <laughs> eh, prendo paura, mi gonfio e torno a galla. Ok, yeah. so I, I love writing some lyrics jokes. And yeah. uh, uh, I think that in, in a cappella music you can, uh, you can sing it. And uh, if it makes people laugh, uh, it's uh, something good. <laughs> it's great. Um, it's great. It's a great way to communicate, isn't it? In a concert, to have some pieces that make people they remember you forever if yeah, you make them laugh course. but you also guys this this group is also fantastic at singing very serious songs and creating a very steel like sound where you are really drawn into your sound and i i, I was reminded listening to some of your music of of our here in england being an island the uk we have a, a big tradition of our sea shanties and folk we have different folk songs from around but we have this sea shanty tradition which i think you're familiar with and they're yeah. quite bawdy and they're quite strong and they were used they were songs that people sang when they were doing work usually well normally a cappella and they, they might have had a little accordion or something but work songs to, and you've had some experience of that Yeah, so we met some Irish music a lot of years uh, ago and uh, Francesco uh, made uh, some lovely uh, arrangements and we have the, the pleasure to sing them. And uh, our process of, uh, of arranging and singing a new song oh, were always to... I mean, we found some songs we, we liked, we loved, and we say, why don't we try to do this? So, Francesco, do the arrangement. <laughs> and uh, and we then sing it. We yeah. we found ourselves uh, singing a lot of Irish music, so we decided after a, after a while to record a, a, a CD um, of of Irish music, and we did it. And uh, right. it's called O Nolulu, like the, a lot of um, Irish surname, you know, with O. O um, um, Nolulu, yeah. very yeah. clever. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. And, uh, <laughs> but after a few years, uh, we, we met a lot of friends of our, our the same age of us. And uh, they also enjoy singing and uh, enjoy singing uh, a cappella. So we actually made up a choir of uh, now we are uh, like 20, 50, 20. And, um, and so with them, uh, we, we spe especially do traditional music and a lot of sea shanties and we discovered to maybe prefer the the choir for singing these songs and this yeah. music because it has a lot of more power and, oh yeah uh, absolutely and yeah. maybe it's also a philological more correct i mean for interpreting uh, this uh, repertoire because yeah. uh, It needs a lot of sound, a lot of voices. Yeah. And, and they're, they're usually they're usually quite easy to sing, aren't they? But they're very effective. Yeah. You have to yeah. do them really in, in tune and uh, oh, everyone in the yeah. same time. Otherwise, it, 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 it loses uh, its power. So when, when um, Pietro, when, when will your next concert be? Do you have an idea? After this, are, are concerts allowed again yet in, in Italy? Yeah. Or? Yes, we have uh, uh, our next concert next week or maybe no, in the 27th of June. All oh, right, wow. Yeah, we have to sing uh, at the uh, sunrise at five o'clock in the morning. So, oh, the midsummer, the solstice. <laughs> will be a, a challenge for us because uh, I never waked up <laughs> at this hour. Um, yeah, maybe you can give up some uh, uh, suggestion on how to sing at five o'clock in the morning, maybe. <laughs> well, well I, I, my advice would be don't go to bed. Don't go to bed. Just yeah. get up very late the day before and stay up late. But because you are a bus. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Get up <laughs> early then. <laughs> 
I I once did a concert. I think the latest I ever did a concert was in in Sweden. In in um in I think it was Sweden or Finland. It's very far in the north of one of those mm -hmm. countries, and it was a festival where they had around the summer solstice time, and they had concerts twenty four hours. So we had a concert that started at midnight. Oh. So that, which sounds quite, you know, that's e that's even late for Italians, isn't it? I mean, <laughs> nine o'clock, nine thirty is normal in Italy sometimes. Um, but this started at midnight, so our concert was ending at two a.m. And when we came out of this church, there were people queuing for the next concert. <laughs> And this tells you how long ago it was, because that concert, a very, very new group was doing a concert in the middle of the night they weren't very well known called the real group right. so that tells you how prehistoric that was okay. hey well good luck with your and what kind of what will you be singing uh, at five o'clock in the morning uh, what we are going to sing yeah uh, um yeah we are going to yeah we choose the repertoire uh, in order to um, sing like not so hard song and uh, with a not so high extension or um, extreme down extension but uh, yeah i think we um, now yes we added also uh, also some uh, songs uh, with a uh, with a guitar we keep a guitar with ourselves and we arrange some uh, beach boys uh, songs we are going to to sing great uh, great uh, yes. that's great too. some salmon and garfunkel Which which one are you doing by then? Wednesday morning, 3 a.m. Oh wow! Yeah. Oh, perfect. That's, <laughs> that's perfect. perfect. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, that's great. Hey, hey, guys! It's been really lovely catching up with you and getting to know you a little bit. And I I really hope that um, when I'm when I'm in North Italy, in that kind of that little area, which is lots of places quite close to each other, aren't they? In that North Italy area, I hope that we might be able to meet up. Um, but I also hope that you might make it to the UK and, or, e you know, either to Ireland or in, in, there's a great festival in, in Wales called Llangollen Festival. And it's all about singing and, 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 and cultural, multicultural, uh, experiences. I think you should make it to the British Isles because I think they, they would love your singing and, um, go to Ireland, go on a holiday to Ireland and go around singing. They would love you there. That would be fantastic. But I hope that we can keep in touch. And um, and who knows, maybe we'll work together at some point. That would be really nice. Yeah. My best wishes to your fourth member. Tell him he's got great arrangements. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah. We will. We Thank will. you, Stephen. It was a real pleasure to get to know you and to, get, and to watch your music. It was really lovely. Such a, a breath of fresh air. Thank you. Thank It's you, Stephen. Thank you very much. So good. Thank you very much. It's been a pleasure. Bye. Have a nice day. You too.